Here's a little hydraulic rod that I'm getting ready to make. And the reason why, I'll show you. All right, got some scratches in there. And they're kind of deep, something's hit it right there. You got some more right here. That was just from the vise, me uh, taking the piston off. But uh, if it wasn't for these, you could polish this and clean it up and it would work fine. But the other problem is the threads are a little bit boogered up there. It's been pulled on some, so we're just going to make a new rod. There's the stock already cut. Inch and a half. Inch and a half uh, chrome rod. So let's make a hydraulic rod. Half thousands. Gonna turn down an inch and an eighth, 12 pitch, inch and a half back. And I'll be using my digital readout up here. Getting the feed set up. Take a 50 thousandths face cut. Set my zero and set it back 1.495. All right, 1.495. Take it all in one cut. It should be inch and an eighth minus five thousandths. Inch and an eight minus five thousandths. Okay, getting ready to cut our 12 pitch thread here, and I want to stop it approximately three eighths from the shoulder there. Okay, I'm just going to use a, a line. I'm going to run this uh, 300 RPM. Alright, that's my visual reference. I'm going to come over here and set my dials to zero. All right, zero on the cross. I'm going to touch off on the compound. Zero that. Okay, make a scratch pass. Check it. Alright, that looks good. 
some oil. Cutting this a little shy because I think the piston is cut a little bit oversized. So I'm just going to kind of sneak up on it. So it's it's getting there. We need to do a little more to. Take another little cut here. Piston fits good, and uh, we're gonna cut a low ring groove right here. All right, I got my self grip parting insert, and I'm just gonna cut a little groove here for a zero series O ring. I'm just eyeballing in the center of that area there. Okay. Right, I'm just going to do some filing and polishing, get rid of the sharpness on everything. Using a three quarter file for the little o ring groove. Okay, there's the first in, ready to go. Gonna give you an idea for comparison there. All right, so we'll flip it around and do this in. Who's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll get to hear you. <laughs> My coworker over here giving me a hard time. <laughs> there we go. Half a thousand. Alright, got to face about 50 thousandths off this and start turning. Okay, we're going to face 50 thousandths off the end and then we've got a three quarter diameter turned back three quarters of an inch. 
This would be a 16 pitch. Okay, digital readout on zero. I'll move it to 745. And then zero it out there. Take some 1 8 cuts here. Should be about one inch. Yeah. Another quarter inch. Okay. Be about seven eighths. Yep. And I want it five under, so I'm going to take another 125. Feed it in five and then back face. It should be about 745. 745. Balanite self-grip insert with a radius. We'll cut an undercut there, about 85 thousandths deep. And blend it into that shoulder. Touch the tool, set my zero. I'm going to come back and blend that line out of it. Go in another five. Clean it up there. And then feed the compound back. Alright, that'll be the undercut. I'm gonna use my MC MCKNR tool. We're going to cut this chamfer or lead in angle there it's for your seal to come up on. And it will be 3 sixteenths to a quarter back. Alright. <clears throat> Didn't like me too much there, too fast. It's pretty close. We'll polish this out. Okay, we'll have to do some polishing on that. Get it to look nice and soft like that. Alright, time to thread. We're going to be cutting a 16. Three quarters sixteen. We got a nut to verify it. That's what goes on there is a nut. Okay. Uh FL1. Okay. Cross slides on zero. Let's touch off.
Test cut. All right, we're there. We got to go about forty-six thousand. About 46 deep. A little bit shy. Let's see. Yep, a little bit tight. We need to make another little cut and then file it, get the roughness off. Come on, man. There we go. Nice fit. All right, we're going to do some polishing and dressing right there. Just looking for those tool lines to kind of disappear. All right, that looks pretty good. Around the corner. in that last thread there. Okay. That looks good. We gotta do some flats on it right here. Okay, I'm um, getting ready to touch off and set my depth. Uh, again, we're making two flats there, so I'm going to touch off, dial in 156, uh, quarter inch back, rotate it, cut it again. Okay. I'm gonna come up and touch it. 
set me a zero. All right, zero my readout. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to come in here with my little Scotch Bike grinder and, and deeper it really good. There you go, finished up.